I'm Mark, this is uh, NDT, non-destructive testing. Um, what we're doing here, we're looking for any cracks or any hairline fractures in any of the metallic parts. The composite parts are checked elsewhere, but we do all the metal stuff in here. Um, we have a number of different methods for, uh, for testing the parts. Uh, one of the most common is fluorescent dye penetrant over here. And as I said, it's fluorescent, so if you put an ultraviolet light on that, it shines up nice and bright. And we let the parts soak in there for about 30 minutes, let the dye drain off, and then wash off the excess dye, keeping the dye in the crack, if there is one, we wash off just the surface dye. Once we've washed it off, we put it in the oven to dry the part, and then we put it in the developer. The, the developer just helps to draw the dye out of the crack a little bit, and also gives us a nice white surface into which to see the fluorescent dye coming out of the crack. Once it comes out of the developer, we go into the dark room and then inspect the part under, like I said, the ultraviolet light. This is a uh, wheel nut off the car, and there's a nice big crack running through here. If I put the ultraviolet light on it, you can see it. They're not always as big as that, but this is just one we like to, like to show people. So once we've found a defect like that, we report it to the designers and engineers and look into what that part's done, and obviously try to stop it happening again. Okay, the eddy current machine basically measures the conductivity of the material and uh, if there's a crack in the part, there'll be a change in that conductivity and the machine registers that. So once you've calibrated the mach machine to the material you're using, it's a case of running the probe over the material and looking at the screen for an indication that there's a crack. On this particular part, there is a crack running through there, which you can see on the screen in this vertical movement like that. Right, so that's the uh, methods we use in the NDT department. One of the biggest challenges facing us as a, as a team in here is just the short time scales we have to uh, service all the parts and getting them back out to the track for the next event. Typically after a race, the parts would arrive in here on a Tuesday morning or maybe even Tuesday afternoon, and by Thursday, everything's got to be done and out of here, uh, built up again so it can go to the next event. And that time gets even shorter on the flyaways because you get the parts back a lot later and they have to go that much earlier.